Tomorrow, we are doing a brand new Zeus League. Some of you have seen the trailer by Yoji. If you saw missed it, we'll put a link to the description um, to that down below. Thank you again, Yoji, so much for doing that. Um, so basically, a new private league that we're starting tomorrow at 3 p.m. And uh, we'll have a countdown in the description as well, so it's 3 p.m. PST. And a private league is basically, uh, it's going to be a hardcore trade league flight. So you can, you can play with other people, you can trade with other people, and it's basically a, a new reset with some extra rules. And some of the rules are as follows. It's uh, Ascendant only. Now this is uh, something we have to enforce ourselves, there's no like special rule in the private league system we can do for this. That means that you're not allowed to make like a shadow or a witch to pick up other gems for your scion. You can only play the scion character, any other character, and you will be removed from the league. So that's one of the main rules you have to follow. And one of the other rules that we've enabled through the private league system is that only white and unique items will drop. That means that if you kill a normal rare or blue monster, it can't drop any blue or rare items. Right, there's a, there's a couple of exceptions and ways to get around that. Like obviously, like, essences still drop, you'll still get currency. Um, transmutation alterations are very valuable in this league because you can't just vendor blues uh, as like readily as you normally can. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, both Blight and Legion should still drop rares and blues, I believe. We still have the um, benches and stuff that do force that. So definitely worth doing a lot of Blight. I think that will also make Blight feel nicer because it's like a really great reason to do it. So it's sort of more rewarding. Now, even though there are these things like slowing us down, there's no like increased drop rates in this league. So it's just an added challenge where it'll be like a nice, fun community event that we can do with some added difficulties and hopefully like refresh things a little bit and give us all a different take on what might not be the most fun league. But I think this will be really fun. So very excited to go hard on this. Um, there's a couple of other things you can do as well to like combat the fact that you can't get rare or magic items. Farming fossils in Delve, very, very important. Like being able to craft and target craft, stuff like that. Really helpful when you can't just like find everything that you'd normally want. Um, the quests that do like give you like a rare item, like there's the, the belt in X6 and stuff like that. These, a lot nicer to do now. Definitely worth considering getting some early resists and obviously helping Ilira early on is very great as well. Do remember that you can still trade with other players. In some of the private leagues we've done before, uh, we've done like SSF and some we've done that you can only trade but not play with people. There's no like restrictions like that in this, so play and trade with other people as much as you desire. Um, I would definitely recommend going slower than normal. And uh, make sure you use your crafting bench, especially to craft resist. Now it is worth mentioning, this is only a hardcore league, so there's no soft core. And because of that, I figured I want to include a couple of like tips to those of you who are like used to playing softcore and you're like, am I going to do well on hardcore? Am I just going to die and lose everything? And there's a lot of things that you might not have done on softcore that is very worth doing on hardcore. So like I said, using the crafting bench early, getting those resists and especially trying to stay at least 60% or higher after Act 4 very very important so obviously you do want to wear like two stone rings and uh, get a resist belt as soon as you can a couple other things i would it's going to be very difficult this league but especially keeping your potions up to date so like if you're level 26 make sure you're using level 24 potion but uh try to get at the very least 50 percent increased recovery rate and if you can get a bubbling or a seething so that's either like half instant or fully instant potion that is the number one thing to do for survival. Obviously, it can be very hard in this league. Definitely something I would start using transmutes on, like around level 18 to 24, to try to get one of those potions because they can carry you for a very long time. Um, that's going to be one of my main priorities to get. Um, especially if you're not feeling like comfortable with bosses and stuff, decoy totem. Decoy totem is huge. It is very, very like it, it gives you so much control over the fights. Or just playing a totem build in general or a minion build. Obviously, like when there's so many things that the enemies can attack that aren't you, that gives you a lot of survival. So, if you're wondering, how do I join this thing? There are two ways to join. Um, if you want to join early, we're like letting people in that can help like supply points to get everyone in. Um, so if you crowdfund, if you can help with crowdfunding, you can message Vero 
or Mr. Mariki on Discord, and I'll put the their names in the description down below. And that's if you can help pledge 30 points. So that's the equivalent of three dollars. Um, in a lot of these leagues, I've um, for for reference, a full a fully funded league with 2,000 slots, which is the current maximum, is around 1,440 dollars. And over the like over the time that these leagues have been out, I've ended up like funding quite a lot. Of these like at least like between like 300 to 700 dollars per league sometimes and that can add up so that's why we're like letting people in early if they can help pay three dollars because that really adds up uh every player slot only costs 60 cent so if tgd gave is a great way of like setting like you know bring your own ticket or pay for your own ticket and then people just paid like six points per ticket or 60 six or 60 i don't know which one i think it's six that would be so much easier. We could just like click open link, fund your own fund, fund your own slots, and that would be like the the easiest way of doing it. And obviously, a lot easier on me as a content creator as well. Uh, but we don't have that option, so that's why we have the early access. I feel like an indie company now, small indie company. Um, however, if you don't have any points or you simply don't want to contribute, which is also fine, it is completely free on Friday. Uh, a lot of people have already helped with slots and stuff, and I will pour money and then we'll fill up the league. So if you can't, then you can join on Friday, but then it's obviously risking first come, first serve. Uh, there's quite a lot of people in already, so it should... I think we actually might have more people playing this league than Hardcore Blight, which is kind of amusing. But uh, yeah, so we'll see how that turns out. But uh, you can also get more information on this on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zizzeri. And the moment you've all been waiting for! I wasn't initially planning on doing this, but considering that Crying Games is most likely not going to do it temporarily, I figured it would be fun to do some small prizes, uh, especially for a few different things. So we're going to have a level 70 to 100 raffle with two $30 supporter packs. That means that if you are uh, if you get at least level 70 uh, in this league, you can uh, have a chance to win one of the two supporter packs. If you get first shaper, you get a $30 supporter pack, and first Uber Elder, $60 supporter pack, and whoever is the deepest delver. So whoever is the deepest delver by the 27th of October, which is my birthday, um, will also get a $60 supporter pack. Just to like spice it up a little bit. I know it's not a lot, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy that that we're gonna buy. There's a lot of other cool things coming as well. I'm planning on doing a subathon on my birthday. It's basically just going to be like, depending on how many people sub and stuff, like 30 or 40 hour stream. So that should be a lot of fun. And we've got a lot of special stuff planned for Christmas. For those of you who are new and unfamiliar with my channel, I always try to like focus a lot on streaming like a large amount of time during Christmas. I know that uh, while a lot of people don't necessarily want to celebrate Christmas, Christmas focuses really hard on um, family and having someone to spend Christmas with, which not everybody necessarily has. So I make sure that you know you have a place to be at Christmas if you want to. If you're stuck at work, if you don't have anyone to spend Christmas with or the de December month, then you can join my channel and I'll be live most of the time. And my DMs on Discord and Twitter are always open if anybody needs it. And now finally, uh, some quick like build suggestions. For the league that can be really useful um totem builds are really good like ascending gets like really nice bonuses for for example hierophant and chieftain if you want to do like fire some like divine ire flame blast like lots of good totems you can do you can do elemental hit it's really good um icicle miner i'm not a big fan of mines myself but they're super strong one of the best builds for sure minion builds are also going to be really really strong so you have like you know you can do anything zombies summon raging spirits specters Loads of great stuff you can do there. Um, like I said, lots of different totem builds. Your toxic rain would be pretty strong. Orb of storms and support. You can play support because you can get other people to actually play good builds to do damage. And then you can support them and do more. Now, if you've never been in a private league before, uh, you could trade just like normal. And you go to pathofexcel.com slash trade. And whenever you're, if you're logged in and you have access to that league, it'll be one of the leagues you can select between. Um, so you can actually like, it'll be called, this is Ascendant Only Hardcore or something in the description. So you can, you can trade through that. Now, like go look through all the description down below, check it all out and uh, hope you guys enjoy the league. It's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be lasting, I'd say at least 40 days. 
and give us something to do until like XLCon, until 3.9 news. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of new faces. Hopefully a lot of people try out hardcore for the first time. So, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. And try to die less than I do.